Hey guys, so today, um, part two of putting the trailer together. Uh, we've done some time lapse of cutting everything together, pulling everything back together. I've got everything all spot welded or partially welded together. Um, cut 25 and a half inches out of the center of the whole trailer all the way down, including the axles. Narrowed everything up so we've got 38 and a half inches from edge to edge. My sawmill is 37 inches. So it's going to set, the rails are going to set a little bit to the inside right here. Um, I've got to finish welding everything solid, put some extra bracing and stuff in here, get the tongue all welded on, figure out how I'm going to cut it down and get it all welded on. And, uh, of course, it was a RV trailer, so it's got built-in jacks on all four corners. But I've got to get them cut off and narrowed up and get them on here. Um, also, whenever I cut it apart, I'm not sure what happened, but this frame rail had a real bad tweak in it back there. I had to run the welder down the sides of it to get it hot to relieve some of the stress and I'm hoping that it straightened up good enough that it'll hold the sawmill good uh, I mean it's not like this has to be perfect because all it has to do is hold that so we'll figure it out um, next is just getting everything all welded solid uh, I'm having issues with my points on my welder right now, so it'll run for about five minutes and shut off, and I have to go file the points. And uh, I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm gonna have to find some points for it. And uh, stay tuned, guys. What else uh, are you gonna be working on today? If you can get the ball over running. Getting welding, getting everything welded up, good and solid. Okay, all right. And trying to figure out what to do with the neck the it, yeah whatever the tongue the tongue guys don't forget to like subscribe leave me a comment let me know what you think um i don't know here we go How long does it need to be? I mean like... Well yeah, that way, but like how long can you cut it at there and it just be that part? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is. I mean, the longer, the reason you want this long is because you've got a wide trailer back here, so whenever you turn, the wide trailer is going to hit the back end of your car if this is too short. Uh... But being a little narrow trailer, it's not going to affect it. Okay. Gotcha. We're just, you're just getting a straight line, right? You have to cut that down. Oh. Probably need to cut that where it's both of them are straight and weld them together. What you waiting for? You to get the camera out of my face? Jump <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. I'm
help you, but I got my hands full. Love tapping it. That's putting it to the chicken tap. Is that what it says? That's so funny. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Well guys, my welder is only staying running for like 45 seconds. I can't even get over to my, to start welding before it shuts off. So I guess stay tuned for episode three and we'll finish welding this thing together. And then we got to tear the sawmill apart and set it over on top of this. And then we got to get some tires and then we got to get lights and then we got to put a tongue on. So stick around. You'll see it all coming along. It's gonna be a process. It's gonna be a process. I thought this was the hard part. And we ain't even started to get started yet. Apparently the hard part is having tools that actually work. Yeah, for sure. So if anybody wants to send us a welder, it would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> Okay, I guess I'm done for the night. Okay. We'll see you guys later. If you want to see more of what we do on Wiley's channel, you can check out a playlist up here, or you can check out our most recent video up here. Yep. Okay. What she said. <laughs>